uh, begin with uh, Jitex. What can we look forward to from SecureWorks at Jitex this year? Uh, we are participating in Jitex with uh, Reddington this year. So we have a we have booth. Uh, we are planning to showcase our uh, XDR capabilities. Um, I think XDR is more of a concept which we need to evangelize more. Uh, we need to talk to people more on what truly XDR is. I, I still hear people talking about XDR as SIM plus EDR. So I, I need to talk loud and clear enough that uh, that is not what XDR is. XDR is a different concept and um, it is it is different. So yeah, that, that's what uh, a main thing. And obviously we'll be talking about other areas like consulting and incident response and penetration testing and things like that. Right. Uh, now you said you're participating with Reddington. So tell us about your partnership with yeah. Reddington and what's the whole synergy like? Yeah, so there is uh, two angles to that relationship, Anita. So one is obviously Reddington is a, a multi-billion dollar uh, distributor with presence across the region. So that will give us a, a, a good uh, impetus to go across the region, whether it is uh, Middle East and uh, Africa. Right. So they got uh, thousands of partners who can take this secure work story to the market, which I will not be able to do with my uh, probably seven, eight member team right so that is not possible so reddington is giving a scale which is which is fantastic and more importantly reddington is using secureworks uh, tages platform to deliver their service using the digiglass brand which reddington launched so which is again uh, helping us to be uh, the the original vision of making sure that tages xdr is in the heart of every sock so that we need to have MSSP partners and Reddington is an MSSP partner of SecureWorks who is using our platform to deliver the service, so which is very extremely exciting. So yeah, so Reddington has got, uh, that partnership is very, very important to us and uh, it's important to them also, so it's a win-win situation. Right. So now, what has the last one year been like for SecureWorks and how have you grown and diversified in the region? Phenomenal. So I, uh, I, I've completed one year uh, in the new in the leadership role with secure works from a, a regional leadership role uh, we have grown significantly right so channel is an area where we have grown uh, in terms of signing up with reddington and taking that relationship to the next level so that was an important thing for us uh, we have also grown our presence so we have hired people in uh, in, Af in south africa we have a south african salesperson specifically specifically focusing on south africa we got emerging africa where we have closed some business in uh, african countries uh nigeria or sudan or, or kenya or ghana or places like that uh, we have uh, grown into within we have expanded our presence in the region with hiring our first uh employee in bahrain so who is handling kuwait and bahrain for us we got we have hired a saudi national for saudi arabia so yeah i mean i, I would have hired maybe 13 people in in last 12 months uh, which is almost like a 50 60 percent growth in terms of the headcounts and same thing is true with our revenue also we have grown significantly on our xdr revenue we have had a number of mssp partners who signed up with us we have closed a uh, number of business with that set of things we've got public references we call that as customer advocacies where CISOs come and talk about uh, how well they are using uh, the efficacy of their SOC operations getting better with SecureWorks platform. So it's been a phenomenal year uh, in, in, in my personal career as well as for SecureWorks in the region, for sure. Right. Now, let's let's talk a little about security. Now, MDR in particular. Now, with so many MDR players in the market, how do you think a buyer can actually evaluate an MDR provider and make sure he's getting what he needs? Great question. And uh, so... Uh, Going back to the one of the first response which I gave, which is you cannot deliver a good MDR, a decent enough MDR solution, MDR service without having a good uh, XDR platform. So XDR is uh, extremely important. So before we get to MDR, so people having a, a SIM solution and with a uh, with a EDR or an NDR coupled into that and calling that as MDR is not an MDR. That's a that's a handicapped version of what MDR should look like, if I'm being bluntly honest with you. Uh, XDR uh, as a concept is very important to understand before we speak about MDR, which is having a big data lake where you're collecting the raw telemetry into this data instead of getting just alerts from an EDR forwarding an alert to a SIM is very different from uh, a raw telemetry getting forwarded to a big data analytics platform. 
massive difference and when it comes to mdr uh, r represents response so you need to have an extremely good incident response team you need to understand how good the incident response team is how uh, what are the qualifications of these individuals are they capable of covering uh, the skill sets required when you are in the middle of a breach which is extremely important and from a, how good they are from a detection efficacy how good they are from an investigation perspective uh, how much of a threat intelligence visibility they have what kind of threat research they are doing so lots of parameters even threat hunting for example continuously doing threat hunting how good you are with a threat hunting capability so all of that is important right now coming back to the xdr story now today everybody is claiming to be an xdr whether you are an av provider or a firewall provider or uh, somebody who is selling whatever other security technology they are all forced into the xdr space now because of the the demand that uh, that space is having uh so yeah so mdr should be on built on a really core xdr technology which is very important absolutely now why choose secureworks as an mdr provider uh two two reasons right so the first is a uh, we are an open xdr platform so when I, when i say we are an open xdr platform we do not rip and replace whatever investments a customer has made right so we can work with uh, other network security controls whether it is palo altos or crowd strikes or or fire eyes or uh, other security controls we will not enforce a customer to use the secure works kit right so which is extremely uh, tricky when a customer is signing up with a uh, with some of the not some any of the other security providers they will enforce to use their agents their network security controls that's not the case with secure works so that is one of the first number one reason uh number two reason is we have been doing soc for 22 years right so we understand how to run soc better than anybody else on this planet because we have been doing this since 1999 uh and uh, service mindset is very different from selling a piece of software uh most of these uh, mdr providers whom you see today they are all uh they were all technology companies got into a service business in the last 2 to 3 years all of them are getting into service business but uh, we have been doing services we are our dna is service and we have been doing this for uh, i mean donkey years right so that absolutely gives us an advantage i can talk about lots of other areas also but these are the two core important things which i would say mm-hmm. what uh, really makes us stand out from from the rest Yeah right uh, now I'm sure Secureworks has a lot of plans for the region uh, you know going forward so can you tell us about some of them Yeah so uh, so globally as Secureworks what we are trying to do is we were we were trying to uh we were a very enterprise class solution we uh, again if i'm being honest we were not so much affordable for a mid market space if if you look at it from a few years uh maybe four or five years ago kind of situation not anymore so we are we one of the thing which we are doing globally as well as i'm replicating in my region is we are uh, we are approaching the mid market uh, so security is not something which is uh, only Uh, for enterprise so everybody is target so whoever is an easy target gets uh, easily uh, so it's super important to make sure that you are making decent amount of security investments because i was talking to somebody yesterday where they got in business email compromise and they lost 400000 right so uh, a, a a small organization maybe 700 employees but they lost 400000 on a on a business email compromise because of whatever fraud that is so it is becoming extremely important for the mid market to invest in security and secure works is now being affordable to that mid market space where we are going so that is where channel again plays a massive importance which is my second point because earlier we used to work with very niche individual security or individual enterprises who who would spend millions of dollars with secure works but not anymore so we are working with the mid market large space where channel is taking us to that space and that requires us to grow the region so when i started we were two employees in in the region 9 years ago to now 31 uh, in the region with uh, not only from a sales pre sales perspective but also we are expanding our channel we are expanding our delivery organization with presence in incident response penetration testing program managers customer success managers all of them so we continue to hire uh, those team members in the region locally right lots of exciting things going to happen i think so uh, absolutely yeah and we look forward to um, uh, you know seeing you at jitex because i'm sure you have a lot of things planned for jitex as well so uh, thank you so much kupan thank you so much for that
Thank, thanks, and it's always a pleasure talking to you.